What is up, Power Maniacs? Power Stasis here, and we are back in the world of FTB Infinity Evolved. This is the uh, the hard mode version of the FTB Infinity pack. It's one with the different recipes. Uh, pretty much changes the way everything plays, and it, uh, it kind of plays like an HQM pack without being HQM, very specifically in the aspect that it requires you to um, basically utilize all the other mods to do pretty much anything else in the mod pack, which is very tough um, in certain instances just to get your head around. Um, so basically, you know, some of the stuff that you normally would do, it's like, okay, well, I need to build this to build that, which needs this to build that, which needs this to build that, which needs this to build that. And by the time you've gone through, you've opened up like 45 different pages of NEI and kind of gotten lost. So my hope is with this video and uh, the series to kind of help you find your way. Um, specifically, uh, just just the, the, the getting started stages. Now, this is not the only way to get started. This is my way to get started. There may be other ways to get started that are a little bit easier or a little different. Uh, for me personally, I'm gonna be going uh, in a different direction than uh, probably the easiest way, uh, specifically for just nostalgia's sake and for cool factor. Um, Cause it'll be fun for me and cool for me. And it's something that I've done a long time ago. I mean like uh, Dungecraft. Craft long ago. Uh, for those of you guys who remember that was the series back in 2012. So anyways, uh, let's let's get over the basics. Uh, also, one other thing before we get started. Uh, yes, this is a kind of a relaunching of my FTB Infinity Evolved series. Uh, you'll notice that we are in a different uh, resource pack. We are using uh, Invictus. It is a resource pack that is available in the FTB launcher. If you click on um, texture packs, you can see it there and you can just install it automatically to the launcher and then you just drag it over. Uh, it's basically a Sortex pack. Uh, if you like it, we'll keep using it. If there's enough of you that hate it, um, just let me know, just leave a little comment and I will, uh, and then if somebody else has left a comment, just, you know, upvote that you don't like that by upvoting their comment and then leaving a comment agreeing and we'll go from there. Uh, either way, uh, I think it's pretty and it beats the hell out of the standard version and it's, it's not too ridiculous and we'll see where we go from there. All right. So you've just gotten into infinity evolved and you're a little lost. So let's, let's cover some of the basics that you're going to want to get first off. Uh, first off, you're going to need a furnace pretty quickly before you can do anything. Uh, furnaces are a little different in this in the aspect that you need compressed cobblestone to make them. Um, I've already got a furnace made, but uh, we'll go ahead and pull this little bad boy up. You can see right here that it requires compressed cobblestone. So basically you're gonna need about a stack to get anywhere with it. Um, well, actually, I think you need a little bit more than a stack. So uh, that's a lot of mining just to make a furnace. So you may go through a few uh, a few picks to get started. Um, you're gonna wanna jump into Tinkers pretty much as quickly as you possibly can. Um, yeah, well, granted, you don't have to. You can use uh, vanilla tools if you prefer. Uh, as far as I know, there is no iguana tweaks in this, so your, your tools do not level up. So that almost, in my opinion, de-incentivizes the reason to go with Tinkers. Uh, Tinkers is a cool mod if that's what your your you know thing is. Uh, without iguana tweaks, though, it, it does get rather challenging. So uh, make your you know your own choice there. If you decide to go with Tinkers, you know you'll need the the usual stencil table, pattern chest, part builder and tool station uh, to get going with those. Use the stencil table to make your stencils. You have your little pattern chest to store your stencils. You have your part builder to build your individual parts using the stencils. And then obviously the tool station to build said tools. Um, once you've got your furnace going, uh, you're, if you're going the tinkers route, you're gonna wanna make a smeltery soon. And once you've got your smeltery made, uh, the big problem you're gonna run into is lava. Now, I was provided this nice little portable tank by one of my subscribers, so that made things a little bit easier uh, for you. You won't be playing on a multiplayer server most likely, and if you are, you may not have nice people who are gonna hook you up, in which case you're gonna need a bucket. And I've got one around here somewhere. I keep forgetting now that I have a texture pack, I have to look for different symbols. So I may just be missing my bucket. We'll go ahead and just pull it up over here. Okay, so bucket right here. You can see the bucket requires iron plates. That's different. But you're like, okay, well, I can get down with that. How hard is an iron plate to make? Well, you need two iron ingots. Well, that's not bad. And a forge hammer. Okay, well, how hard can that be? Well, more iron ingots. Well, that's a bit of a pain. But the real issue is the treated sticks. Now, if you use NEI, it's gonna tell you you need treated wood planks, which you can only make with creosote oil, which you're gonna be panicking on because that means you're gonna have to build coke ovens and go that route. Now, don't get me wrong. 
there's nothing wrong going with that route if that's what you want to do, uh, especially since you can then turn those Coke, ov Coke ovens into a system like with Railcraft to maybe fire up a boiler and go that route. That's definitely a good way to go. Uh, it's just a lot of time consuming time. Uh, unfortunately, for whatever reason, NEI does not show you this recipe. Uh, the starter guide, which you can find right here, does though. Uh, if you click on tech tree, I think it's getting started, uh, getting the bucket right here. You can see uh, this little recipe right here, which again, for whatever reason, doesn't show up in NEI. Uh, so click here, you're gonna wanna put saplings in your furnace. Uh, that is going to cook down slowly. And this is going to give you, uh, like, I think it's a wood pulp type deal, which you'll see, boom, right here, wood ash. You recook the wood ash, and that's going to give you uh, purified wood ash, I guess. Well, that's interesting. They both have the same name. I thought this was something special. Anyways, it's treated. It's, it's yellow wood ash. It's yellow. It's empowered with pee, and that's what makes it so great. Uh, anyways, you you surround your stick with it, which you can see da, 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 right here. And that's gonna get you rocking and rolling. You will need two of these, which means you're gonna need 18 saplings. So you're gonna have to go out and chop some wood and get started. Um, and then once you get once you get to that point, uh, at that point, once you've got uh, all of that going, you can basically double your ores, which is you know obviously the first thing you want to do in modded Minecraft. And unfortunately, in FT FTB Infinity Evolved, you are going to be burning quite a bit of iron before you get to that stage, which is going to be a little painful. Oh, hello, zombie. This is one of the problems about making your base in a giant freaking tree is uh, all of this area counts as shadow underneath the canopy. So all of the zombies and skeletons and such uh, can spawn and then they hide under there. And you'll notice he doesn't start burning till way out here. That's forever. Uh, keep in mind playing on this difficulty setting, at least for me personally, a lot of monsters spawn. A lot of monster spawn, and you're probably going to have some issues with dying, uh, at least initially. Uh, it would definitely behoove you to make some kind of weapon right off the bat. Is that another one? Really? See, here I am talking about all the zombies and such and monsters and things, and then we actually get quite a few of them to spawn. Go figure. Uh, that's part of the reason we are up in the sky. Uh, I just like the look and I have some some cool ideas. If any of you have ever played EverQuest 1, that's basically the guy, the goal where, well not the goal, the, the guideline we're gonna go for. There was a wood elf town called Kalithan in Greater Fadark. Um, it was basically the starter wood elf town. Um, that's what we're gonna be building. Uh, you'll notice, oh, we're on fire. Wonderful. Part of the reason I like this texture pack is it makes water pretty. All right, don't burn me. Good lord, great googly moogly. Uh, one of the other nice things about our starting spot over here is we are right next to a mushroom biome over here, which means we basically have free food because we just go over and we can milk the, uh, well, not milk, so, well, I guess it is milk. Uh, basically, you get bo bowls, put them on a cow, and now you've got mushroom soup, which is kind of creepy. I, I don't I don't know why I find that creepy. It's just, it's, it's, it, it's supposed to be milk, and it's coming out brown, and... I'm putting it in my mouth, and I just, I have a real hard time with that. I just, I do. I do. So anyways, um, once you've got all that set up, you're duplicating your ores, you need to make a big decision here. Well, maybe not necessarily a big decision, but you need to decide. Do I want to go magic? Are you kidding me? Do I want to go magic, or do I want to go tech? If you go tech, you're going to be moving down the IC2 tree, pretty much. Um, you're going to want to get into... Wow, is that really all that's showing up in here? Starting to think this texture pack has messed with, uh, there we go. Uh, you're gonna wanna get into, into IC2. Things like you know your generators, your uh, rolling machines, which I think is actually Railcraft, uh, and that type of stuff. Um, you're gonna need to start off initially with IC2 power, uh, and that may not necessarily be true. You might be able to find a way to make thermal expansion work. Uh, actually, you're probably better off not doing thermal expansion, uh, using uh, extra utilities to go for power. Uh, some of the options here, survivalist generator, uh, you can you can make one of these pretty cheaply, all things considered, although all of the gears do require um, Tinker's gears to cast. 
That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, or you can go magic. Now, keep in mind, the magic side of things does get a little complicated because you do have to buy, you have to use all of the stuff from all of the magic things. So whereas with uh, some of the stuff, at least in IC2, you can kind of get started. With magic, for instance, let's look at the blood altar. Let's say you want to jump right into blood magic. Well, you'll notice you're going to need, first off, a hell of a lot of compressed cobblestone. You're going to need living rock slabs. That means you got to get into Batania. You're going to need an attuned stone, which means you're going to have to get into witchery. And you're going to have to get high enough in Batania to get mana steel and an alchemical furnace from Thomcraft. That's a lot. So that's Batania, witchery, and Thomcraft just to get into blood magic. Now, thankfully, all of this is fairly low tier for the most part. Uh, mana steel is going to take you a little bit. You're going to have to get started uh, enough mana production to make mana steel, which, again, isn't too hard, but it's it's not one of those things you're going to be setting up in 10 minutes. So let's talk about what my plan is, and then we'll start working on implementing it. So you'll notice we have a generator here. This is an IC2 generator. Uh, to make this uh, generator here, where are you? I gotta find it. There we go. To make this generator, you need an iron furnace, you need some iron plates, and you need an REI battery. Or E battery. I don't know why I keep calling it REI battery. I did that all the way back in even 2012. Anyways, iron furnace is just a normal furnace surrounded by some iron plates like this. And to get the RE battery, it is a insulated tin cable, some tin item casings, and some electrine, electrotine, or electrotin, teen? Electrotine. We're gonna call it electro team anyways you need some of this to get all of that going uh that's gonna get you hooked up get you rocking and rolling and now you basically have the start of some very low level power uh you can use this to to basically power some some beginner ic2 machines uh, now what we're going to be working on, and I probably will have to do IC2 and uh, RF for now, just to kind of function. Uh, to do that, we are going to need to get a gear built. Now thankfully you can build the starter gear with wood. Uh, unfortunately the wood gear is not going to let you do much. So let's come over here real quick, break this. And the reason we're making this is because we're going to need to make a survivalist generator, uh, which I showed you guys earlier. It's right here. Uh, and we're going to need the iron gear down here to make. So uh, we have one furnace. We're going to need one more furnace. So we're going to pull a couple pieces of cobble here. I do have six already, so I guess we're not going to need... Whoops. We're not, not going to need too terribly much. Um, yeah, we need a little bit more. There we go. Whoops. I keep going for the furnace recipe as opposed to the compressed uh, cobblestone. Just force the habit. There we go. Now we have our two furnaces. All right, so we've got that, but we need to make the we need to make the gear. So first off, we'll open this up, grab our little casting basin. Yes, I know my inventory management and my sorting system or storage system at the moment is enough to make an OCD person just instantaneously combust. I apologize for this. I'll get this sorted out here shortly. Uh, and then we need some wood, so gotta find, gotta remember what wood even looks like in this texture pack. Uh, I have played quite a bit on this pack without uh, using this pack, so, uh, and this is rubber wood, this may not work for me. That's one of the problems with switching to a texture pack is uh, when, you, when you switch over, you gotta get used to, yeah, this isn't gonna work. We're gonna have to go get some real stuffs, so we'll put this here. Replant you. Boom. I will just store this real quick. Alright. That's rubber wood too. Not quite sure why I put that tree right there. Uh, we do have some dark wood down here. Dark wood will be just fine. We don't need a whole lot, so I'm just going to grab a couple pieces. We will probably come back and, and start expanding on that farm here in a bit, but for now we're going to leave it where it is. Alright. It's not too far to walk. How lazy can one be, right? All right, so here's our sticks, and we need boom, boom, boom. That's going to give us our gear, our wooden gear. Now, I'm wondering, can we make a stone gear? I'm curious. I bet that uses stone. Nope. Yeah, so cobblestone. Now, usually you have to use these uh, for the smeltery. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade this gear to a stone gear. Uh, the reason I say we're going to do the stone gear is because we're going to be dumping hot metal on top of it. 
and I, I don't want to I don't want to have any kind of fire. That's kind of interesting. I've got resonant ender here. I guess an enderman kind of just wandered into our little area, which is a little disturbing if you ask me. Um, but oh well, we're not going to worry about that too much. Uh, we're going to put our aluminum brass in here. That molten ender or resonant ender we actually can use uh, a little bit later on. Uh, you're also going to notice we have a rather large smeltery here. This is actually the biggest smeltery you can have. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven by seven. Uh, granted, it's not the biggest one you can have, I don't think, ever. It's just the biggest one you can have in FTB Infinity Evolved. Uh, some of the forums posts were saying that you could have one significantly larger than this. I don't know if that's true. All right, Skelly, where are you? I mean, you're going to have to have some words. All right, there we go. And of course, it's on. Remember I was telling you, all the spawning is just crazy. I even have this place lit up pretty good. I must have missed a few spots. That's what it is, the, the new tree that we built over there. Okay, so we have aluminum brass in here. Uh, we're going to dump that over this little gear. That should give us a gear cast, which is what we needed. And then we just need to find iron. Switch that over. Boom. Where you at, buddy? That's fine. I'm going to need EXP. Good God, there's a lot of you. Holy crap. It's starting to feel like an adventure pack with all these monsters. All right, so now we've got we've got our iron gear, which is one of the other things we needed for a survivalist generator. Boom. All right, so we got our two furnaces. We uh, should easily be able to get the blocks of coal, I think. Do I have coal for that? Oh, crap. Uh, I think my coal is actually, well, 22 is going to be awful low. I don't think that's going to be enough. Yeah, I've got two, but that's not enough for three. So uh, I think I have some more coal ah, right here. Thank God. All right, so I have not checked to see if they've messed with pistons yet. Uh, they may have. I wouldn't be surprised if they have. Uh, it looks like they haven't. So just cobblestone, redstone, and iron. Thank God. Uh, so we've got a stone gear and an iron gear. I don't need the stone gear anymore. So we're going to throw it down there in my little garbage can. Uh, I have one block of iron. Pull that out, smelt you down. And I don't need this 10 ingots. And the rubber bars technically don't need either for the moment. Uh, we are going to need some wood, though. Uh, oh, it's getting nighttime. This is not going to end well. I need to get upstairs quickly before the zombie apocalypse shows up. Zombie Apocalypse is all fun in games and books, but when you're living it, not so much fun. Alright, let's go ahead and head upstairs. It's, it's, it, it is pretty, though. I do like this texture pack. Like I said, I do want to get some feedback from you guys. I know I know there's going to be at least three of you that are going to hate texture packs, because that, that's the funny thing. If you go with Sortex, people hate it because you're not using BD Craft. If you use BD Craft, people hate it because, you know, you're, you're not using Sortex. So... You, you, it's impossible to make everybody happy. So I'm just going to do my best and try and make as many people happy as possible. Uh, did leave the redstone downstairs, which is my mistake. There we go. That gear scared me for some reason. I don't even know why. All right, there we go. Really? You're going to make me build it? Oh, it's because I didn't do that. Please tell me you're going to work for me. Of course not. All right, so boom, boom. Oh, it's because I don't actually have any cobblestone. Jesus, dudes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, we're, we're having senior moments here. I know I'm only 35, but still, we're having a senior moment. All right, there we go. Got that set up. Uh, we actually don't have the room for those, which is fine. I'm just going to throw them out the left side. And then hopefully that'll fill. It does not look like it's going to, which is fine. Uh, boom, boom. Boom, and I've already forgotten the recipe. There we go. And then I've left our coal right here. That's the problem. Are you kidding me? Yeah, witches don't play. I'm not quite sure why witches are spawning here. But they're hateful. They're hateful. Really, really hateful. And that might actually kill me. Well, I mean, poison can't kill you, but... It definitely can try. All right, let's pick up some of the stuff here. I need to, like, get a better storage system, like, immediately. We are missing out on chests. This is just ridiculous. There we go. What is this? What is that? 
Glowstone dust. Yeah, I'm not going to turn my head, my nose up at that. All right, so now we have a survivalist generator. Now, the nice thing about this is we now have the capabilities of producing both EU and RF. Now, granted, we're not going to be making a ton of it. Um, both of these generators are are muy poquito. They are very small. Uh, they're not going to be packing a whole lot of punch, but that's okay. Uh, this one just runs on, I think I'm only going to put 10 in for now. That should do well. There we go. You can see we're producing 5 RF a tick, and this will run for 13 minutes. So the nice thing about the Survivalist Generator is, even though it produces crap for power, it does have a good storage base. So with 100k storage, uh, yes, it's going to take probably 45 minutes. I'm sure some of you guys can do the math on that one. It's going to take forever for this to fill up. I mean, what's 100,000 divided by 5? 100 divided by 5 is 20, so it's going to take, what, 20,000 ticks? Um, each tick, uh, each second is 20, so 20,000 ticks, that's a uh, 1,000 seconds, roughly, which is, what, 15, 20 minutes or so to fill up, roughly, give or take. My math may be off because it's, uh, it's midnight on a Saturday evening, so, and I'm... <laughs> I haven't taken basic math in a long time, so the the old thought processes are a little dusty there, so I do apologize for that. Um, anyways, uh, we're going to use these two uh, to power everything else. Now, where we're going to go from here, uh, we have some nice flat area here, and I'm going to build some farms. Now, we have a couple options to build with farms. I think what we're going to be doing is looking at forestry. Uh, the reason we're going to be looking at forestry is we already have to build a thermionic fabricator for some stuff, and I figure why not embrace it and build some of the rest of this stuff. So uh, the nice thing about the, the farms here, uh, and I haven't messed with forestry farms and si since uh, I think around forestry version 3 or 3.1. Since then, they have gone to forestry Four. Actually, it wasn't 3.1. It was pre-3.1. 3.1 massively expanded the forestry farms, and then 4.0 has apparently massively expanded beyond that. So where in the last time I did forestry, you could have 180 spots that you could farm with. Uh, in the current version, you can have 720 spots to farm with. So what does that mean for us? Well, we're going to go old school. We're going to go old school, and by that I mean like tech it level old school. So we're going to build peat bogs and tree farms. Uh, reason we're building a tree farm is tree farms in forestry, if I recall, produce sand and, well, tree parts. And a peat bog needs sand and dirt to make what it makes. So we're going to use the tree farm to make, uh, what do you call it, uh, to make peat. And then we're going to use, or we'll make bog earth. And we'll use the bog earth to make peat, which we'll use to fuel our engines, which we'll use to take over the world. It'll be beautiful. It'll be beautiful. So I'm excited. So we're going to have some really seriously large farms. And I'm going to just basically plant those down here. Uh, and I, I expect one farm will probably take up just about that whole area. And the other farm will take up just about this whole area. And we may make a couple of them. So uh, we've got to find a way to make... We have to find a way to make dirt and sand and bog earth. And I believe with the peat farm, it will make dirt for us. We just need the sand, which will come from the tree farm. So we just need two farms. And uh, peat takes a long time to grow. A long time to grow. Either way, it'll be fun. In the next episode, that's what we're going to start on is the big ass bog farm and the big ass tree farm. That's going to take a lot of tin, so I'm going to have to do a lot of mining off camera, uh, but it should be fun. Anyways, hopefully you guys are excited about this series. If you are, please slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.